What is up guys? This is Karan here back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. As you can see, I've installed a Google Camera 7.4 by Parrot. If you have used the Gcam 7.3 by Parrot and you obviously know how the camera behaves on a device, this is one of the best Gcam modes I have ever used. There are some other modes available also, but Gcam 7.3 by Parrot was one of my favorites. And now they've just updated it to Gcam 7.4.1. So I've installed it on my device. I, in this video, I'm just gonna share with you the link for that app and some little bit of things to think about this Gcam. No extra things, not a full review about this Gcam as you already know about how the Gcam performs. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Okay, so I have already installed the latest Gcam 7.4 on my device. So just open this and you just need to grant some permissions. So let me just give some permissions to this. And after giving all these permissions, this is how your Gcam will look like. This is not themed Gcam. This is official Gcam by Parrot. The latest Gcam 7.4 where you get all the same features including auto white balance and motion option which you can disable it right now. You have the timer option also available. You can click photos, camera mode. You have the portrait mode option available too and gcam's portrait mode is just fine you can easily click photos in portrait mode and that will just look like just great thing and also night sight is also one of the great thing in gcam when you talk about the video mode you can shoot videos in full hd which is 1080p or in 1080p you can shoot videos up to 60 frames per second and talking about the 4k you can choose the 4k resolution for video recording and you can choose the 60 frames per second up to 60 frames per second which is quite impressive you can just enable or disable the flash from here and when you go to more you have the lens option which is a new thing which is actually the google lens time lapse option slow motion photosphere and panorama all these things are just very impressive in gcam and Gcam is just super duper great in the terms of clarity of the pictures. In settings, you can see we have a new option like Google Lens Suggestions. This was not available in Gcam 7.3 actually. So we got this in Gcam 7.4 and this is a very helpful feature for a lot of you guys. And this is the best way and best time to use Gcam right now. And if your device has camera 2 API enabled, then only you can use the Gcam 7.4. And if camera 2 API is not enabled, you can check out my video regarding how to enable camera 2 API on your device. We also have this option like do not disturb access needed. So whenever we are whenever we are shooting videos, we can use a do not disturb mode so that my videos or videos just work perfectly fine. And at once we have the all same features like HDR plus control. The maximum brightness option, disable Google Photos option, save to DCIM camera, which means do not create the separate folders. Some other options, here we have HDR plus enhanced settings, some front camera options, this is what you can adjust. You can adjust the front camera clarity with the Pixel 3a XL, 4xL, 3xL, 2xL or 1xL. You can also choose the front camera exposure and here you also get the lip patcher option. There are a lot of things to customize in this camera for your device. So you can install this camera right now if you want to. These are small things, same things which I just want to share with you. This one is Gcam 7.4 and the developer is Parrot and thanks to the developer for this awesome Google camera for almost all devices right now. Make sure you are on Android version 10 because from my opinion, I think Gcam 7.4 will only work above Android 10 or on Android 10. This was all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.